I fuck with Shawty cause she bout her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living, ayy. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. It's 2021 when you are seeing this video, so Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. I pray that everything that you are trying to manifest, every goal you are trying to reach in 2021, I pray that it comes to pass for you. You just got to keep the faith and work hard as well. So let's get it. I'm excited about the new year. I hope y'all are excited as I am because I'm really excited. Big things are coming. Period. So today I'm going to be doing a curly bun on my natural hair. Um, last night I washed my hair. I moisturized it, detangled it, and I sealed it with oil. And I just twisted it up last night put a button on with sleep okay so this is the hair i'm going to be using from the beauty supply store just some cheap hair that i found to do a curly bun with this hair was 10.99 it's 30 inches and 1b i'm i got two i got two packs but i don't know if i'm going to use two packs these are the other things i'm going to be using shine and jam just to lay my hair i'm going to be using even edge control for my edges I'm going to refresh my hair with this Unjackie's Hydrating Hair Milk and then I'm going to just control the shine and add oil to seal in the moisture with this pink glossy glosser. Pink glosser? <laughs> I like this stuff y'all. Most people use it on braids but I like to use it on my hairstyles as well. So yeah, let's just get straight into this video. So first I'm just going to start off by refreshing my hair with this hair milk and I'm going to take my twist down. Okay, now I have my hair all out of the twist. I'm just gonna spray a little more hair milk all over my hair. And I'm also gonna spray this water and mix with aloe vera juice on my hair as well. My hair is low porosity, so I have to keep it hydrated. It, uh, it doesn't take water well. It takes a long time for it to get wet. So I need my hair to be just a little damp when I'm doing this bun. So I'm just going to add some water and aloe vera juice. Okay, so now that I have my hair hydrated, it's a little looser. It's now time for me to start forming my bun. And I don't know. I think I'm going to do it really high up here. So... I just need to get my hair in the state where it can lay down. Girl. I do tangle my hair so it shouldn't be that hard. But usually this will be a little difficult, you know, on natural hair. But we're just going to form my hair into a bun before we start adding the other hair. I suggest using a shower comb so you can get the tangles, any knots or tangles out. So that you can have the flattest surface possible when it comes to your hair especially with natural hair you want to make sure that the surface is flat when you're doing a bun just be careful with your hair though don't do too much be gentle with your hair a whole workout dang and it's still not perfect in the back but i'm tired my arms they hurting hopefully i can fix that little hump back there but okay i fixed that hump in the back so i had to do that all over again but listen we here we here okay now i'm gonna twist this puff together so that we can finally start our bun okay Okay, so this is our bun. Woo, finally, girl, we on the next step. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and lay my edges first. 
so that they can start, you know, setting. Just gonna go in with this edge brush, edge comb. So I finished my baby hairs. This is what we are looking like. And I'm just gonna put this on my edges, on my baby hairs so they can set while we're finishing the rest of the hairstyle. This is how the hair looks out the pack. I might only have to use one cause it's kind of thick. I just didn't know if it was gonna be thin, girl. We can't have no thin bun. All right, this is what the hair is looking like. I'm just gonna give it a little spray with my water and aloe vera juice. Separate the curls just a little, not too much. You don't want it puffy, but you also don't want your curls super stiff like they are in the pack. I might as well spray a little hair milk. I don't know why. In my mind, I think it helps. <laughs> so now we're just gonna begin wrapping this around our bun. It's super simple. All you need is your bobby pins and just wrap, girl, just wrap. So it's double and I'm gonna keep it double and I'm gonna wrap it like that. So I'm just gonna take my bobby pin and hook it onto the end of the tracks. And then I'm gonna hook this bobby pin like into the back of my bun so that I have this hooked onto my hair. Just like that. So now it should be hanging from your head. And all you wanna do is wrap. It's nothing too hard. Just wrap it around, wrap it around until you run out. Right, we got the hair in. Hey, this don't look too bad. You don't look too bad, girl. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. That's what I look like. Real ratchet. Okay, so now it's time to form the bun, okay? All we're doing is wrapping once again. Make sure that you are adding enough bobby pins and that your hair is secure. Cause if it's not, it will come off and girl, you have to start all the way back over. We don't have to, we don't want to have to do that. So I'm just going to start wrapping this hair and forming the bun. got the bun wrapped and I left these two pieces out because I do want them to hang here I'm gonna cut them of course but I finally got the bun I'm gonna add just a few more bobby pins so this does not come loose we need this to last for two days at least okay it's all about making the bun look how you want it to look I know I wanted mine to be like a wrap so some people might want it to look like an actual bun and that's fine too like the donut type bun you can do that as well so i like the way my bun is now i have it pinned up very secure very secure so now i'm just gonna uh cut these to my face i don't want them this long so yeah i'm just gonna cut these to the length that i want them i'm gonna use this little thing to do so Okay, so I cut them to the length that I want. I'm probably, I can see myself cutting these shorter, but I like them where they are right now. So we just gonna go with it. So now I'm just gonna do my face real quick and I'm gonna come back, take this off and show you guys the finished look because I still wanna add like some little gems to it and stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, Flutter Squad, I finished getting myself together. Didn't do much, but you know, a little something. So I'm gonna take this off. So this is what the baby hairs are looking like, whole style. 
I love it. It came out good. We went through the storm to get here, but it came out good. I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you guys try this out, let me know. Tag me on Instagram at Fashionisha. If you're not following me, make sure that you guys are following me. And I thank you so much for watching. May your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here. <laughs>